Floating like a butterfly, no set of float. Sung like a lullaby, brace yourself as the beat hits ya. Dip trip, dip fantasia. Good morning, Great for Bobcats. I'm Bob. And I'm Bob. Today is Tuesday, January 23rd, 2023. It's 2024, Bob. Aww. And now, please rise for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for some announcements. There is no art club today. Select choir editions are after school today. Hey Bob, did you bring in baby pictures? Yeah, did you? No. Well, you better get them in. I will. Well, if you don't, we're going to be forced to use a baby picture of Mr. Boldu. No! Well, that's all you can do. <sighs> Choice A lunch is soft is a soft shell taco, black beans and rice, roasted with sweet corn. Choice B is a ham and cheese sandwich. And now for weather. Welcome back to weather with Kat. Today, there is a 23% chance of precipitation. It will be a high of 35 and a low of 33 degrees Fahrenheit today. And even though it's a little warmer than the past couple of days, it doesn't mean you shouldn't wear a coat. Well, whatever the weather, have a great day. And now, for a roo. to root with cat this week's root is cycle cycle means wheel so yesterday we talked about a bicycle which means two wheels today you are going to have to use your imagination a little bit more today's word is cyclops a cyclops is a human like monster who has one eye in the middle of their face so why is it called a cyclops instead of a uniclops or monops well, ancient Greek people thought the eye was big and round, like a wheel. So Cyclops means wheel eye. That's really cool. And now for jokes. This is jokes with Bob. This week's joke theme is animals. Why did the kangaroo stop drinking coffee? He got too jumpy. <laughs> <laughs> what steps do you take when a tiger is chasing you? Big steps. <laughs> what did the buffalo say to his son when he went to college? Bye, son. <laughs> <laughs> That's all for jokes. And now for world's craziest foods. Welcome back to World's Craziest Foods with Bob and Bob. Previously on this segment, we've talked a lot about foods from other countries. But today, we'll be covering foods from the U.S. First up, we have turducken. Okay, Bob, what is that? Turducken is a dish consisting of a chicken stuffed inside a duck stuffed inside a turkey. In other places, it's called three-bird roast or gudukken, where the turkey is replaced with goose. Three birds stuffed inside each other? Doesn't that seem a little bit over the top? Yeah, it's hard to imagine why a food like this would, would exist, but knowing that it does, it only makes sense that it was created in the U.S. Well, Bob, I have another crazy food. What is it? It's called deep fried butter. It is commonly served at fairs around the U.S. It was invented by Abel Gonzalez Jr. and won the most creative food prize at the time. How is it made? 
Well, Bob, deep fried butter is pretty much exactly what it sounds like. Frozen butter is dipped in honey and cinnamon flavored batter. Then it's deep fried and browned. All I can say is we Americans must really hate our arteries. Well, that's all for World's Craziest Foods. And now, now back, back to, to the, the anchors. anchors. Sorry, we missed an announcement. Select choir auditions are today, not after school, during school. And now for birthdays. Happy Bobcat birthday! We hope it will be great! Every single Bobcat, get up and celebrate! Yay. Happy birthday! Happy half birthday to Haley S. We're glad you were born. Respect. Responsibility. And safety. It's the Bobcat way. You put the great and great bro. So you better have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Bye.